I'd like to take a few moments and talk about melodic motion etude number 11. This one's going to be in the key of no sharps and no flats. We're going to be outlining the primary pillars of the key, which are 1, 4, and 5, in this case C, F, and G. If you've not done so yet, I'd ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Please like the videos, share, and leave a comment. If you'd care to donate, the PayPal link is in the description below. And let's get started here with this little etude, which outlines C, F, and G. So we're going to start because of where the, the melody starts on the, the root or the, the tonic. We're not going to start with doubled C, so I'm starting on a first inversion already, moving up to second inversion. So these kinds of moves are things that you can take out of these etudes and just explore on your own. Change notes here and there, see if it modulates, see what you like. So this is first inversion to second inversion, meaning the third is in the bass, and then the fifth is in the bass. So here's E and C, it's a sixth on fret seven and 10. Then with the bar, we're getting the seventh fret of the third string D. So the melody is saying C, D. And then we're coming up to second inversion, which you might see looks like a little E chord in that sense, the open chord shape but it's really a sixth with a note in, with the root in between. So here we are at 10 and nine, G and E with a C in between. I think you can hear Frere Jacques in there. I'm gonna put a link in the description to a commercial that used to air in the 1970s about pollution that turns out to be this exact melody too and I hadn't realized it until I recorded it as Melodic Motion Etude number 11 and then listened to it. And indeed, it's Give a Hoot, Don't Pollute, if you anybody was around in the 70s in America to remember that. Now we're going to need... We're going to get a D minor chord, a 2 chord in here. So here's F and D, 8th and 7th fret of the 5th and 3rd strings. We're going to rise up melodically to E, 9th fret, and split contrary motion to D minor, D and F, 10th fret, 6th and 3rd strings, with an A in between. So all the members of a D minor triad are here, the root, the minor 3rd, and the 5th. And this is another move you could take out just know, put it in your pocket as that's a little move for minor from first inversion to root position. So here we are. Now we need G7. We're going to get a contrary motion line. Here's G and B a third, interval of a third at the 10th and 9th fret. We're going to suspend that third with the 4th here at the 10th fret of the 4th string. It's a very lullaby-like 5 chord sequence. So going down to 3rd inversion, that means the 7th is in the bass. So G and B with a C. Looks like what we had for D minor 1st inversion, but here it really is G7 over F. So 8 and 7, F and D, with a B on the 4th string, 9th fret. Coming to 1st inversion, C again, E and C, 7 and 10. And we're going to continue down to root position. Just like before, E and C with a D melody on the 3rd string. And they split to become C and E, a tenth, at eight and ninth frets of the sixth and third strings. Now some good old-fashioned harmony. 
So C and E, a third, on the 10th and 9th fret of the 4th and 3rd strings, we're going to raise the 3 to the 4, and then come down and get the flat 7 of C, which makes F sound like home all of a sudden because we've added the note that makes the key of F distinct from the key of C, which is B-flat. So all this time before, we've had uh, B-natural, making C sound like one. Now we're going to get... makes F sound like home, C7. So here's a nice move. Major third, up to the fourth degree, then bar eight and eight. We have a B flat and a G here with an E in between on the tenth fret. So that, sorry, ninth fret, eight and eight and nine. That spells C7. We need a resolu resolution in F. First inversion F, A and F, seventh and tenth fret, walking up melodically to G, eighth fret, second string, and now a tenth interval, F and A, five and two at frets eight and ten. We might as well throw the the F tonic in there at the 10th fret of the 3rd string. So I think of these almost as music box kinds of harmonies. You can imagine. Now we need a 5 chord to wrap it up. And we're going to more or less go back to the same 5 we had before, which is a 3rd, G and B. 10 and 9, raising up to the 4th degree, 10th fret, 4th string, F and D again, but this time rising up to E, so F, F and D rising up to E, 8 and 7 up to 9, and now resolving 1st inversion C, E and C, 7 and 10. And if you'd like, you can walk the bass down D, C to give it a sound of a final kind of 5, 1. The D is there standing for G7 with a D in the bass. Melodic Motion Etude number 11, getting, it to, getting to know it a little bit better. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. I look forward to hearing from you and what you're thinking. Please give me any ideas you have for future lessons. It seems I'm continuing on with this Melodic Motion Etude lesson series where I'm going to go through each of them and play them and explain them a little bit, break them down. And I want to wish you a very good day.